Hey, um, I have asked this question to Ross Jeffries, Michael Sertain, a lot of people. And the question is, what are some things the pickup artist community gets wrong? Okay, interesting. I think negging, first off, they think it's insulting. And if you read the definition, you know, the formal definition on the internet, it is not the actual definition. It is the neg version of it. It says that it is a backhanded insult. Uh, that That's just the neg of negging. Someone doesn't like the idea, so they write something derogative about it, defining it instead of allowing me to define it. I'm the man who coined the word neg. It was used, neg hitting. It, neg hitting was used by Trump in reference to how Hillary Clinton was treating him. Oh, she's just neg hitting me. So it is used in popular culture, but there is a misunderstanding that it's an insult. It's not so much of an insult as it is just putting a person in their place demonstrating that you're not after them. It's the opposite of hitting on them. It's giving an indicator of disinterest or IOD. A neg and an IOD are the same thing. I love it. That's one. That's one. <laughs> awesome, man. Uh, any any other question? Ice? Um. Yeah, any, any other things you think the community kind of really fucks up has done incorrectly or concepts that well, are oh, not yeah. good. People people are still doing direct game day game. I was I was exactly about to say this, yes. Theory. <laughs> yes. So single approach theory is is bonus rounds for me. Some people only play in that realm. They think that getting 15 no's on the street are gonna one day pan out to getting a yes. And then it's a numbers game. And if you're going to play numbers game, at least build a skill set while you do it. Instead of doing the wrong thing over and over and over again. It's not working. You feel like you're being a creep. You are, son. There's no need to creep women out. In fact, we do indirect approach. This is where we convey our personality first before they have to judge whether they want to see us again or not. Right? Some guys get it all wrong. You know, I'm like the structure of pickup that I've developed is backwards engineered from what worked, what clearly worked in my life. So when you go through the nine linear phases within courtship, you know, opening, DHVing, qualifying, moving the set into a lock in position so that you can build comfort in C1, then getting a phone number, which is a time bridge to seeing her again at C2. And then bouncing her to C3, which is your living room, so that you can then go to S1, arousal, S2, handling last minute resistance, which is minimized by recognizing that most pickups take, or most courtships rather, take seven hours. They take somewhere between four and 10 hours. If it's under four, you're compromising comfort. If it's over 10, you're falling into the let's just be friend zone. So seven hours is a general rule for, for pickup that has been agreed by dozens of pickup artists around the world. Uh, you know, I've had a chance to meet them. So if you just abide by the structure and you take it baby steps, you know, just one phase at a time, and you'll get all the way to S3, which is seduction, mutual seduction. And you really aren't successful if you only have sex with the girl once. To me, that's a failure. You can't have sex with her a second time. But you can backwards rationalize it as, a one night stand that you chose, really it's her choice and you just can't get any more. So that's a one night stand, that's a failure. Three times that you've had sex is a an indicator or a pattern that you're in a sexual relationship with her. So courtship goes to, to having a sexual relationship rather than just having sex. Mm -hmm. Uh, you, you remember Bad Boy, uh, direct game guy from Croatia? He, he, uh, me and him were actually about to set up a debate between direct gamers and indirect gamers. Oh, and Eric, he you was, should come on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, he wants to take on everyone. Like, he wants to be 
uh, by himself representing direct game and wants to take on everyone uh, who uh, supports indirect game. Uh, so that'll be pretty funny. Well, maybe nice. I'll watch it. <laughs> okay, cool. Mystery, I'll, I'll, I think I'll... that mystery. I think you should mention though. There's levels to this game. The level system, if you have. Oh, that's right. We call them the five levels of the game. The first level is not opening girls by themselves. That's level zero game. Level one game is opening the group. That's where we start. Gentlemen, you want to open, you know, you you want to meet a beautiful woman. You're going to have to meet her and her friends. She's not alone. And her friends may be men. So if it's a five set, one girl, five guys, I've been in the situation where I've met these mixed sets. That's what we call a mix. A mixed set is men and women in them. And I've been in situations where four guys end up giving me the girl. So it is possible. It's actually, you know, lucrative to open mixed sets. People don't know that, you know, girls are bored as F when they're hanging out with a group of guys and no other people are introducing themselves because of those guys that can become boring. So even if there's a couple, you can come in and talk to a couple. Couples are bored. Imagine you had a girlfriend. You went to a club. No one's talking to you. You're bored stiff. You're, you may be you know, doing some public displays of affection to entertain each other for a while. But other than that, you would welcome the opportunity if someone came in and wasn't hitting on her, but rather nagged in order to demonstrate that he's not after her. You know, mentioned he had a girlfriend. And then was fun, right? I've been in situations where I've opened up a two set, found out that they were, that the couple was married. And then I would go on to say, is it all right if I bore your wife for a minute? I'm going to open up a group of people. I'd like her on my arm when I do so. So the woman I'm interested in in that group will be less threatened by my approach. And I remember at the docks in Toronto, uh, I remember doing this in one case. And he, the man said, oh, please, you know, this is, it sounds great. Sounds fun. <laughs> and we ended up opening the, the set together, she and I. She didn't have to talk. She was just there. And I ended up bringing the woman of interest back with me to the man. You know, I brought his wife back along with the woman. So that worked in my favor. I think that indirect gives you greater maneuverability than direct. It allows you to be dynamic and deal with the fact that it's not based on your comfort levels of whether you two are going to have sex or not. It's based on her comfort levels. So when I hear I consistently get a girl within one hour, no disrespect, but that just doesn't sound real to me, you know, based on the fact that I've met dozens upon dozens of pro PUAs around the world. I've trained a number of them. I know what works because I'm going in field. I'm an infielder. You know, well, well, many guys are talking on computers. I'm in field with Baxter talking to people in real life. Right. There's a lot to learn from doing that. Those are my thoughts. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, guys, we need to make these questions a little quicker with you guys because, uh, you know, we don't want to keep them up all night. There's a few more questions. Uh, two, two super yeah. chats that just came in. Number one, is Mystery still in touch with Sin and El Topo? This comes from Sam Sai. Um, do you still talk to Sin or El Topo? No, I don't. There's two Sins. There's the original Sin, who who is a very good, good, good buddy of mine for many years. I yeah. Uh, I reach out to him and hope he someday uh, contacts me. I don't have him on on my uh, on my social media, but yeah, he was a great guy. Really smart. He wrote a book that was like a precursor to the game. He wrote a book on pickup. I forget the name now. It was something with the word attraction in it by Sin, S-I-N. And it included me in it and some of our stories. So if you're very interested, go see, go seek him out. Yeah, he was a really good guy. I really enjoyed his company. Good friend. Uh, no, last uh, question here. Is... El Topo, I don't recall. I remember okay. the name, but I, I actually don't recall him right now so apologies uh what is a former what is a frontier for modern game development i know you mentioned something about artificial intelligence what's a frontier you see something that's coming up in the future that will change 
the game. Sure. Uh, I don't think nightclubs are going away. I don't yeah. think those beach clubs are going anywhere. If you don't go, you miss it. It's happening with or without you. Parties are occurring everywhere around the world. Right now, there are cities that have parties happening. And while we're here huddling for warmth, there are people right this very second in public gatherings meeting real world women. That's where the game is played. Anything else is an excuse. Playing on Tinder, playing on, you know, Instagram, trolling, looking for women you've never met. You know, if you've met women and put them on your Instagram, then those are people you've met. You know, then you're using the system as a communication tool, not as a system for meeting girls you've never met before. I don't recommend meeting a girl on Instagram that you haven't actually met in real life. But that's just my personal opinion.